Let's talk about electrical conduction in heart cells. Now the heart's a muscular organ with muscle cells called myocytes. Myocytes are special muscle cells that are unique to the heart. But just like other muscle cells, they contract after positive ions enter the cell. This inflow or influx of positive ions gets the sarcoplasmic reticulum and tells the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium ions. This release of calcium ions facilitates actin myosin binding, which then leads to muscle contraction. Now, we're going to talk about how electrical activity passes through heart cells. In order to do that, I'm going to draw out three heart cells, just like we had in the box to the left. And we're going to draw the sarcoplasmic reticulum in each of them. Now, at rest, the heart cell is slightly electropositive on the outside and slightly electronegative on the inside. What we say happens right before contraction? Well, the positive ions enter the cell. And at the same time, their sarcoplasmic reticulum releases positive ions. Remember, it releases calcium, like we talked about over here. This makes the inside of the cell more electropositive and the outside relatively electronegative. This is called depolarization. And that's a change in membrane potential after there's an influx of positive ions, making the intracellular membrane potential more positive. Shortly after depolarization, the cell repolarizes. This is called repolarization. The positive ions that were in the cell get shuttled out through channels, so the outside becomes more positive, and the calcium ions go back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This is the cell's way of trying to reestablish that resting membrane potential, and eventually there's enough transfer of ions such that it does reach the resting membrane potential, and it's ready for depolarization again, then repolarization, and the cycle continues. Now we just looked at how electrical activity passes through individual heart cells. Let's think about how it passes through the entire heart. In order to look at electrical conduction through the entire heart, we use probes that measure voltage. And in this case, we have a negative probe and a positive probe. And together, they tell us the direction of the electrical activity moving across the heart. So something important to note is that these probes can only see what's going on on the outside of the cell. Remember how we said that cells at rest are more electropositive on the outside? An electronegative on the inside, and depolarized cells are more electronegative on the outside and electropositive on the inside. So when a probe sees a cell at rest, it's going to see the positive. It's going to register this as positive. And when a probe sees a depolarized cell, it's going to rec recognize this as a negative cell because a probe only sees the outside, does not see what's going on, on the inside of the cell. To make this easier, let's say that positive cells, cells that are positive on the outside, are going to be pink, and cells that are negative on the outside are going to be this blue color. So therefore, a cell at rest is pink, and a depolarized cell is blue. So in reality, we look at electrical activity with several probes, but in order to keep this simple, we're going to look at just one pair of probes. And remember that the pair of probes shows you the direction of the electrical activity or the depolarization moving across the heart. An EKG machine translates this into waves or deflection and prints this out. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. So let's say we have a heart with cells at rest and a wave of depolarization starts from the same side as the negative probe and moves towards the side as a positive probe. So we're depolarizing on the same side as a negative probe towards the positive probe. As the cells depolarize, they become electronegative on the outside, because remember the probe looks at the outside of the cell. And at some point, we're going to have some electronegative cells that have already been depolarized and some electropositive cells that are waiting to be depolarized. We've effectively created a dipole. And that is, we have an imbalance between positive and negative charges. And as a rule, the head of the dipole points towards the positive charge. Now, if the dipole is in the same orientation as the pair of probes, meaning it's parallel, and 
if the head of the dipole points towards the positive lead, the EKG shows us as a positive wave or positive deflection. Let's look at another example. So again, we're gonna have two probes, same orientation, except this time, the wave of depolarization is gonna happen in the opposite direction. It's gonna start on the same side as the positive probe and move towards the negative probe. Just like the last one, we're gonna still create a dipole because we still have positive cells and negative cells. The dipole is in the same orientation as the probe pair, but this time, the head of the dipole points towards the negative lead. And on the EKG machine, this looks like a negative deflection. So what happens when the wave of depolarization occurs in a perpendicular direction as the lead? Again, we're gonna have the negative and the positive running in the same orientation as the other examples, except that the depolarization is perpendicular, the wave of depolarization is perpendicular to the lead. Just as before, we still have a dipole, except this time, the dipole is perpendicular to the orientation of the two probes. And on an EKG machine, this is shown as a neutral wave or no wave. So we have a heart with cells at rest and the cells depolarize. And in this example, we're depolarizing from the same side as a negative to the positive probe. And what happens right after depolarization? Repolarization. And a lot of times cells repolarize in the same order that they depolarized. So we're repolarizing in this direction. And just like all the other examples, what did we create? A dipole. And in this example, the head of the dipole is pointing towards the negative probe. And what did we say this looks like on an EKG machine? This is shown as a negative deflection. This looks a lot like the example above, except that in this example, we were depolarizing from the positive side towards the negative side. And in this example, we're repolarizing from the negative towards the positive. So you can imagine that an EKG machine tells us a lot about the electrical activity going on in the heart. And in a normal healthy heart, there's a certain pattern that the EKG machine makes. You can also imagine that a heart with either cells that are sick or hearts that have abnormal shape, sometimes hearts are enlarged from years of high blood pressure. So hearts that have abnormal shape, which would kind of disrupt conduction of electricity through the heart, these cells will have patterns that are abnormal from a normal EKG. So the EKG machine can tell us a lot about the health of heart cells.